right, so we're somewhere in Fort Myers right now, and uh, this is our first time ever stepping here on this sand, and it's pretty, right? It's very pretty. It's a white sand beach. It's very pretty. It's a perfectly white sand, and it's really in the middle of nowhere. There's like nobody here, and we're just having fun, and there seems to be a lot of old people here, which is not a problem, but it's just like not a crowd at all. It's not a young crowd. No, old people everywhere. Whatsoever, right? Yep. So we missed our boat. We were going to go on a casino, and it was on a boat called the um, Big M. Big M. But we're not going to go on that. We're going to go on a train ride later on this afternoon. With a five-course dinner. Correct. And we already paid for it and we already got reservations. And uh, this is on a plain Thursday that a lot of people are actually working in offices and everything. And we're just strolling around Hanging doing out, nothing. Fires, doing nothing. Doing absolutely nothing. Rich? It's a good day. No. no. Millionaire? No. I don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's it. Fort Myers. some kind of a dock right now. We're literally just vegetating for two hours before we hop on a train, the mystery train ride, and uh, we're just basically killing three hours. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon when it's really nice outside, so I really enjoy the west coast of Florida. It's pretty clean, and I'm surprised I didn't find too much oil. They probably removed a lot of it from the Gulf. Yeah, fishing is not one of my hobbies, that's for sure. That's why I had to step away from it. Do you like fishing? I do like fishing. I don't like fishing. I'll throw them back just it's for you. It's cruel. It's not right. It's a beautiful sunny day in Fort Myers. The sun behind us is unbelievable. It's going to set right on the water in the Gulf, I'm guessing. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon right now, and uh, we're just about one hour and a half away from hopping on the train and solving the mystery. I agree. That's right. That was a little nice on back to my glass. So. <sighs> Let's Mystery. talk to you soon. Mystery solved. Did you really mean it when you said this wasn't your case? Most assuredly. But what is your interest? Why you think Tom Cutter had a on train? I had a lead. The Baron was on this train. In disguise. Two names seem suspicious. One, a Swiss nobleman, Count Conrad of St. Gallen. And the other, 
with a guy called Wong. Unless you're the wrong Wong. <laughs> Uh, import and export at your service. You have very good mind for detective work, for a mere businessman. I'm not sitting near about it. I deal with all kinds. But what are your facts? What if he is exactly who he claims to be? I might have learned of something important. You would have learned it was a fable, most likely. Quite the opposite. There have been many sightings and recorded descriptions of the yellow monkey. I don't have a conclusion. So who do you think it was? The lady with the gun. Who do you think it was? The monkey. <laughs> the monkey? The monkey did it. Is there a butler? I don't know. Did the butler do it? Did, did, I don't know, the waiter did it? The waiter. <laughs> I think so. We're filling out the sheets right now and uh, she's not even bothering it. Suicide. <laughs> suicide. This is the sheet where you put all the names and stuff and what do you think the murder is the motives are and yeah. the vital clue so let's switch identities switch who are you suggesting that count conrad is mr esposito and mr esposito is really count conrad a fake guy